Welcome to the 2021 PC Manitoba leadership election. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming the Premier of Manitoba, the Honourable Kelvin Gertson. Tonight our party and our province is going to make history. We are excited about today and we are ecstatic for what our future holds. For the first time in the history of our province, we will have Madam Premier in that historic office in the legislature. And I can tell from that applause that you feel like I do, that it is about time it is a glass ceiling in Manitoba that has long needed to be shattered, and it's shattered here tonight. We counted 16,456 ballots today. 82 of those ballots were spoiled ballots. 17 of those ballots we consider disputed. So we keep uh, them off to the side in case the, the numbers were extremely close. We would uh, then take their, uh, their team, show them those ballots, and we, then we would uh, enter them in. But we have 82 spoiled, 17 disputed. For the Glover campaign, there was 8,042 ballots counted for the Glover campaign. It is indeed my pleasure to tell you that there were 8,405 ballots for the Heather Stephenson campaign. The next Premier of Manitoba is Heather Stephenson. Thank you. I look around this room this afternoon, this evening. We have representatives from so many different areas across Manitoba, from our First Nations, Métis, labor, business, first responders, and many different cultural and ethnic backgrounds. Many of these people here today didn't necessarily feel comfortable being a part of our party in the past, well, hello, Manitoba. Welcome to the new PC party of Manitoba. I am truly honored and humbled to stand here with all of you making history in Manitoba. Today, our PC party chose the first woman premier in Manitoba and you all played an incredible role in that. Thank you. A strong PC party is vital for a strong Manitoba, and together I know we will come out of this race more united than ever with a focus on earning a third consecutive majority government in 2023. Jason and I were born and raised in Manitoba and chose to raise our family here because, like many of you, we love Manitoba and we're proud to call it our home. In the last couple of months, I have had the opportunity to visit all corners of this beautiful province listening to Manitobans. And I heard loud and clear that they want to see us take a much more collaborative approach when it comes to working with other levels of government and with stakeholders in our community. Manitobans want a government that works alongside them. They want to see a government that focuses on strengthening our health and education systems, working with, listening to, and learning from Indigenous elders and leaders on moving Manitoba forward with reconciliation, and attracting and retaining talent, investment, and business that will provide a culture and environment that ensures our kids want to live grow and succeed right here in Manitoba. And to all Manitobans, I'm ready to address the many challenges facing us. Our immediate priori priorities must be to focus on repairing our relationship with Indigenous peoples, 
to get Manitoba through the rest of this pandemic, to focus on economic recovery with an emphasis on the importance of immigration and addressing the critical labour shortage this province is facing and tackling the very serious concerns that COVID has exposed within our healthcare system. We will face these challenges together. We have a team, we have a plan, and we are ready to get to work. I am optimistic and I'm excited about our future and I look forward to working together as a party to ensure we earn the third consecutive majority government in 2023. Thank you so much.